Hi everyone. Welcome to the Pepper Jam Affiliate Network Advertiser Webinar on Effective Affiliate Newsletters for your affiliate program. My name is Ryan and I'm an associate here at Pepper Jam. Today's webinar will cover the importance of newsletters affiliate communications, how to create newsletters in the interface, including some guidelines and elements to not forget when reaching out. We'll also cover how to segment your communications to specific groups of publishers. Finally, we'll touch on how often you should send communications to your publishers to ensure you are on the road to success with building relationships. Publisher newsletters are essential to creating and maintaining solid relationships with your valued partners. The goal of publisher newsletters is to facilitate your relationship with publishers and provide them with the tools in order for them to succeed. Publishers are busy professionals too, and a newsletter should be personalized, helpful, and motivating. Newsletters help keep your publishers engaged in selling your product, actively interested in promoting the brand, as well as updating on anything new that you have to help them achieve success. You can leverage them to assure your publishers know about new features, sales or products you have, as well as providing them updates on the affiliate program such as changes in commissions, addition of a product feed, or a new mobile site launch. Let's review some guidelines to consider when creating your newsletters. Length. I recommend that you keep your newsletter between one and two scrolls in length. The reason you send out newsletters is to share relevant information with your publishers. However, realistically there is no guarantee that they will read and fully digest the content especially if it is full of text. It is also important to bear in mind that your partners receive multiple emails and newsletters on a daily basis from the many brands that they work with. Therefore, I find that concisely summarizing the key points in your newsletter will increase the likelihood of engagement. Subject lines. The vast majority of people use the subject line as a means for determining whether the actual content of the newsletter or email is of interest to them or not. Encourage partners to click through by keeping the subject line short. A one-line summary of the email, an attention-grabbing question or a call to action. Including the program name in the subject line also makes life easier for publishers and piques interest for the recipient. Segmentation. Making sure the content of your email or newsletter is specific to the individual publisher is crucial. Once again, partners are inundated with brand communications on a daily basis and sending out blanket emails to every single person, for example promoting a product review to cashback and coupon partners, will only discourage them from engaging with future communications. Take the time to personalize your message. For example, create two separate email sendouts, one specifically created for bloggers highlighting content or product specific updates, and another for cashback and coupon partners highlighting upcoming offers. Let's take a look at some important elements you should be sure to include in your newsletters. An introduction. Thank the publishers for being aboard your program and then outline what the newsletter is going to include. Deals, contests, new banners, etc. This will let them know what to expect when reading it. Offers. This is the section where you want to inform your publishers of any new promotions or deals that will be running during the next 30 days or so. Provide as much information about the deals as possible, including any promo codes, expiration dates, and ready-made links to the deals that include the publisher's unique ID. Providing ready-made links with the publisher's ID embedded allows them to simply copy and paste instead of creating it themselves, or having to log into the network. If you cannot provide the ready-made links, then you should provide them clear instructions on where they can locate them within the network interface. Top Performing Creatives. Pick out your top five performing creatives, those are banners, coupons, products, or text links, and include them in this section of the newsletter. As with the Promotions and Deals section, you want to provide them with ready-made links so that the publisher can simply copy and paste. Publishers want to promote your products using creatives that convert, so provide it to them. They do not have access to the analytics data for each creative, so by providing it to them, they know which ones are going to make them the most money. 
as well as easier to post and promote this. Best selling products and new items. Highlight your top selling items. All publishers should be informed of what products are top sellers. Be sure to also inform publishers of any newly added items to the site. Bonus opportunities and contests. This touches upon the motivating piece of publisher newsletters. Providing a publisher additional ways to earn more money will keep them motivated and also push them to promote the product or service harder. Bonuses can be first sale bonuses to inactive publishers or include a sales threshold to receive additional money. For example, refer 10 sales in 30 days and receive a $50 bonus. Contests are also a fun way to get all your publishers involved. By having cash prizes or highly sought after electronics will help motivate your publisher base. Now that you know the basics of what to include, consider including some additional yet helpful information for your publishers. Product related buzz. Is the word about the product you sell being spread all over the internet? Find people who have good things to say about your product on sites like Amazon and Yelp and add those reviews to your newsletter. Look for clever YouTube videos that show how best to use your product. Twitter is another good place to look for satisfied customers. Anything that shows how effective your product is should be added to your newsletter. FAQs. In general, prospective customers want to have all the information they can about a product before they commit to buy. A frequently asked questions section to your newsletter will clear up any concerns your future customers may have about your product. The more information available, the better. People want to be knowledgeable about the product they are investing in, and this saves time in doing the research needed. Product news. Has your product changed recently? Perhaps there are new laws in effect that change how the product is made or distributed. As an affiliate channel marketer, it's your job to keep your customers in the know about any changes they should expect. Sharing the tools for success with your publishers can go a long way. Publisher earning potential. Consider including earnings potential in your newsletters by listing the commission amounts for the top 10 publishers over the past month. Don't include names or URLs, just amounts. I know a lot of programs are very secretive about the earnings, but this is also one of the biggest questions on the minds of publishers. You've got to drive the performance of your publishers and since you know they're all hungry for money, why not dangle some aspirational goals in front of them? That is, unless your numbers are very low. If that's the case, you might want to rethink your strategy and devise clever ways to help the publishers see potential while increasing your revenue through the channel. Share the secrets of success. Do publishers intuitively know how to make money from your program? Not most of them but there are a great many that could be producing for you if they only knew the key as to how. I came across a great idea in researching this webinar about designating a publisher of the month. Each month, pick a publisher that is doing a good, not great, job with your program and highlight that publisher in your newsletter. It's also nice to send the publisher a little care package or gift certificate. Not only is the Publisher of the Month a feel-good accolade that many sites would like to receive, but it also provides you a chance to showcase a site that is doing things right, so your lesser publishers can emulate those best practices. The Power of Tips Publishers love tips, and these can make up a couple sections in your newsletter. General affiliate tips, marketing tips, and search engine tips. No need to break new ground here just impart useful information that you have learned along the way. If you would like to give your publishers the opportunity to promote your program in their text newsletters and email signature, pass along a tip on how to create redirect URLs. How can they achieve better search engine rankings? Do some research, find out, and tell your publishers. Want to teach your publishers how to add code for one of those make us your homepage links? Just add the information in your newsletter. I've shared these tips with my publishers who not only implemented them, but responded with lots of kudos as well. Let's move on to how to create a newsletter within the interface of your account. 
navigate to the communications menu in the upper right and select newsletters. Our newsletters are built using HTML. Photoshop or an in-house graphics team can be utilized to create HTML based newsletters. If you are not familiar with Photoshop, don't have an in-house graphics or creative team, or you're not an expert in HTML, I recommend using a tool such as Composer to help you create your newsletters. Composer is a complete web authoring system that combines web file management and easy to use, what you see is what you get, web page editing. I find Composer to be extremely easy to use. It is ideal for non-technical computer users who want to create an attractive and professional looking website without needing to know HTML or web coding. Go to composer.net to download. On this page, you can designate who the recipients will be. You can send a newsletter to all joint publishers in your account, or you can send specific messages to groups you've created. I do recommend grouping your publishers according to primary promotional method. In order to send your newsletter to a specific group, you'll need to create your groups first. This will help segment the content you are sending out and target the specific audience differently based on my tips earlier in this webinar showing examples of what to include for specific groups. You'll find the Manage Groups option under the Publishers tab within your account. You can add a group manually, or there is an option to upload a group with a list of publisher IDs. In order to send a newsletter to a specific group, simply use the drop-down menu under Recipients when you are creating the newsletter. Choices in this drop-down include Add Publisher to designate one specific publisher as the recipient, Joined Before and Joined After dates, Transparency Rating, Program Term, and Promotional Method. There is also an option to send to all publishers joined to the program. Utilizing the tagging options when creating your newsletter can help make it more personal. Address publishers by their first name rather than using a generic hello publisher. Our tagging option makes it easy to add personalization to your messages. When creating your newsletter, you'll see an option for tagging on the right. Select generic tagging to incorporate the publisher's first name, last name, or email address into your newsletter. Tagging creatives helps to make the process of adding your new offers easier for publishers. All of your newsletters should include creatives. Adding creatives in this format will display in the newsletter example to the right. A publisher simply has to click on the Generate Link button to pull the proper tracking and does not need to search for the correct link through all of the creatives that you've uploaded within your program. Always be sure to preview your newsletter prior to sending. Ensure that all formatting looks correct and that all tagged creatives are displaying properly, as well as checking to be sure nothing important was left out. If your newsletter has complex HTML, I'd also recommend sending a test email to yourself. View the test email using different email clients, such as Outlook and Webmail. Let's discuss the frequency to send your newsletters. How often should I send a newsletter is a question that I get quite often. At the most, I'd recommend sending one newsletter per week. Include all of the week's updates and offers within one newsletter so that you aren't spamming your publishers by sending too frequently. At the very least, you should be sending a monthly newsletter. Communication is key to a successful program. Be sure to send a newsletter whenever a new product line is released, promotion rolled out, commission structure has changed, or bonus incentive or activation campaign is being run. Newsletters should also be sent more frequently during holidays and peak times. Finally, I'd like to end the program with some options to boost your program. We can offer several options to help you get additional exposure for your programs. We send out newsletters to our entire publisher base on a regular basis. We can feature your program, include offers for your program, or even create a dedicated newsletter featuring only one merchant. We can also do brand monitoring. Whether you only allow select publishers to bid on your trademark terms, or you don't allow any publishers to run PPC campaigns, 
we can monitor the search space for you to ensure your publishers are compliant with your terms and conditions. You should be running reports on a weekly basis, but that can be time consuming. We can take care of that for you with our customized reporting booster. Just let us know about any KPIs you'd like to see included, and we will customize a report to fit your needs. We offer creative packages that include up to 15 banners from our in-house graphics team. This could help when new banners are needed for a product launch, huge site promotion, or last minute holiday needs. We also offer quarterly business reviews where we take a deep dive into your program's performance and make strategic recommendations for the upcoming quarter. Plus, there are a few free options that you can take advantage of. As a premier merchant, Publishers will have more confidence in working with you. You do have to meet certain criteria to be designated as Premier, including having a fully built out program, up-to-date invoices, and resolving transaction inquiries in a timely manner. Mobile enabled means a mobile badge will display next to your program, which will give publishers confidence to partner with your brand knowing they will be commissioned on sales from mobile devices. Our peer program is a great way to capture the social shopping audience. Invite your own brand advocates to share your promotions and products via social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. Finally, our offer newsletter is hosted in the publisher interface, which means all publishers have access to this. This is a great way to have your promotions seen and attract new publishers to your program. This concludes the webinar on effective affiliate newsletters. I've included contact information for Shana Cavuto, a senior associate here at Pepper Jam. Feel free to reach out to her with any questions. Thanks for your time.